Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, your host, uh, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Today, we're going to talk about the spiritual warriors challenges, the spiritual seekers challenges uh, that are put upon our path to awakening and self-realization. And uh, I'm going to get into that and talk about it in details. And uh, I have a feeling a lot of you can identify with these different challenges that we all face uh, or have faced in different uh, times in our lives. Uh, there is a lot of ups and downs and and tricks that is presented on this path a lot of times uh, the rug is being pulled from under our feet um, a lot of times we feel like we're wasting our time or we have been on the spiritual path and there's been advancements and then we feel like we have strayed away and uh, get lost and after a number of years we find the path again so there's a lot of different things that happens to different people uh, and we're going to get into that and talk about it long time ago I read a book um, <clears throat> which at the time I read it back in the day uh, I was so thirsty and hungry for spiritual wisdom and uh, this beautiful uh, man friend teacher brother of mine gave me this book uh, it was called the way of the peaceful warrior by Dan Millman and at the end of the book, there's a statement, there's a quote saying, we go to the spirit when our foundation is shaken, only to find out that it's the spirit who shakes it. We go to spirit when our foundation is shaken, only to find out that it is the spirit who shakes it. So, on this path of self-awakening, majority of spiritual seekers, pretty much 99.99% of us spiritual seekers, the lover of the truth, we had to go through some kind of trauma. As my old friend used to say, shock treatment. A lot of us had to have some kind of near-death experience to be awakened to the world of the spirit or we lost somebody close to us that forced us to dig deeper within. Some of us had to go through a major divorce and bankruptcy. Some maybe had to lose a child or someone very close to them that they loved, a lover, a child husband, wife, parent, sibling that forced us to come to the spiritual path. We, most of us had to have some kind of major shake that the ground underneath our feet got really shaken. Our foundation got shaken. And it forces you, you know, as you're shaken and you're being slapped in your face or pour the bucket of water on you, 
that to kind of wake you up, you know, from the coma you're in, you wake up and you begin to question your existence. You begin to question the nature of existence, of life. Who am I? What am I doing on this planet? What is the meaning of life? Which I'm sure everybody has asked that question. And in this process, as this is happening, and it's very painful for a lot of us, then the spirit shows itself to us. Some of you had very tough childhood. Uh, you have dealt with being abandoned. Your parents left you. They shipped you from one place to another place. Maybe you grew up in a foster home. Maybe you grew up with one parent in a dysfunctional situation or both parents one was alcoholic, the other one was not available, or whatever is. There is multiple different way, different stories that I've heard throughout the years that I've been on this path and I've done the work. Uh, abusive parents that sexually have abused us, or physically we've been beaten up, or all kinds of different things have happened and all of these traumatic experiences in childhood or throughout the life has awakened something within us and forced us to look within to look inside does this sound Familiar with any of you? Do you resonate with it? Some of you have been in a, a revolution, a country that had to go through a revolution, or your town, your village got attacked by enemy soldiers, and there's been massacres, there's been war. Uh, we all have had different experiences. Some are more extreme less in comparison to the others, maybe not as extreme uh, shock treatment. But overall, I would say majority of spiritual seekers, they have gone through some kind of extremity and whatever has been the situation. Maybe you were forced to marry somebody you didn't want to. Maybe they dragged you out of school and made you marry someone or they forbid you to uh, study what you wanted and go the path you wanted to go down. Um, a lot of us got into abusive patterns uh, we became alcoholic or drug addict or food addict or sugar addict or danger addict or sex addict or whatever. Uh, we all have had our, our fair share of different traumatic experiences and shock treatment. But I'm here to share with you that that is a part of the awakening process. 